it is up to you to make your own decisions on who you are willing to help. If you want to help your neighbor out, um, whoever these major red flags that I have been talking about is something that we really need to really consider a important warning for you and your family. For anybody out there that is watching, maybe you're not a member. It doesn't matter. I'm concerned. I want people to be prepared. I want people to understand the importance of what is taking place and how you all can survive this just by doing a little bit and getting ready. I know a lot of you are really prepared. And I also know that probably a lot of you are still trying to top off and fill in the weak spots. But if we don't take the initiative with these red flags that are flying right now, this is like in the NFL, all these coaches now walk around with a red flag and they throw the red flag every time there's a play or something they don't like because they want it re-looked at. Well, here's the thing, folks. The red flags have been thrown. But that doesn't mean you're going to get a replay and get a chance to prep. Once the play is played in life, and what we're dealing with here, there's no going back. So it's either you get prepared now, top off your preps, make sure that you've got what you think you're going to need for however long, whatever you can afford. I'm not telling you to go out and run all your credit cards up or you know, empty out your bank account or anything else. But I'm telling you is to be smart be wise, be thrifty with your money, and buy the sales. I've done several videos. I've talked about this, I don't know how many times. Shop the coupons. Everybody's got, you know, if you got a smartphone, there's apps for every freaking store out there known to man now. You can log into the little app and you can sit there and you can get uh, you can get rebates. You can get coupons. You can load it all right into your thing. And when you walk up, they scan the thing. Boom. Everything comes off. It's a beautiful thing. It really is. If you're looking to save money. We all can sit back here and we can really. We got two things that we can really do. We can sit here and we can listen to this. We can listen to other youtube channels we can listen to whatever your favorite news station whoever you trust and you can sit back and you have to make your own decision on do i really need to do this is this really happening now pondering and taking the whole thing and trying to process it and trying to make sense of what is taking place. Or you can do just the opposite. You can say, you know what? I heard it here on survival preparedness for beginners. I've heard it from all these other different channels. It's on the news. It's here. It's on my phone. It's, it's, it, it's in the newspaper. If you get a newspaper, it's making headlines everywhere. And why is that? Maybe now is a good time for me to really take inventory of what I have in this house. You know, I got two kids and I got to make sure that I've got food and supplies and, you know, I mean, at least band-aids or, or something, you know, I mean, kids are going to fall down and get hurt. It's a fact of life. You got to have those boo-boo sticks at least. But these are things that you have to really think about. And I would say that you want to go with the latter of the two. You want to make sure that you're just sitting back going, you know what? Yeah, I think I got to do something. We have to be prepared and everything else. And we, we, we got we to gotta get ready. And if it doesn't happen, what are you out? 
as I have said before, when you're doing your preps, don't buy stuff you're not going to eat. Why throw the money away? Buy what you're going to eat and prep that. So at least you know and learn how to use what you have in your preps, how to make meals. It's very simple. You get creative. Now, yes, there's a lot of stuff that doesn't go together, and I'll give you that one, you know. But then again, I would also make sure that you're falling back to what I've always said is you prep what you will eat. Do not buy spam if you're not ever going to eat it, even if it was the last thing there was and you wouldn't eat it. Don't buy it. Buy chicken, buy roast beef, buy hamburger, buy tuna fish. There's other things that you can buy. Corned beef. You can get a lot of meals that are already in cans for canned goods. That's going to last you for four or five years if, if you store them correctly. Now, obviously, if you store them and they freeze, well, they're no good. Obviously, if you store them and you live in a, you know, Florida and you keep them in your garage, they're not going to last that long. It's got to be a controlled area. So if you live somewhere where you can have a basement, you can't have those in Florida, but if, if you live somewhere where you have a basement and stuff, that is a really good place as long as it doesn't flood or something um, and it's not real damp um, to store your products because it's usually pretty temperature controlled year round. doesn't get cold enough to freeze. And doesn't in the summertime, it stays at a nice, cool temperature compared to the outdoor or inside your home temperature if you don't have AC. So that's just a valuable option right there. I, but here's the thing. These red flags have been flying for a while now. And before, everything was the Russian-Ukraine war, which nobody is talking about. You barely even see that on any media anywhere i get hardly any notifications whatsoever about anything to do with ukraine it's like the war is over over there isn't it i mean what do you people think give me a number one if you think it's when we're talking between russia and ukraine and israel and gaza which one is the one that's going on israel and gaza there's nothing about ukraine and russia kind of funny not getting skeptical here but maybe they needed time to take things away from them i do know that the russians have moved all their um navy that was down towards crimea and stuff and they put them over back over towards on their land on their side there because now that Ukraine is starting to get all these missile systems and all these rockets and planes and, uh, you know, whatever else. Well, Crimea, all of a sudden, now the port there was like, ooh, guess what? This is very easy to hit now. And we're still on technically our land. You know, I mean, Russia just moved in there and said, oh, it's ours now. <laughs> it's like, okay really um i you know sometimes i have to sit back and laugh at some of these things when it takes place and how they look at things you know oh we just we moved in and it's ours now oh you redrawn the whole world map now is that how we're gonna do this i don't know all i know is folks uh the world has gone mad the red flags are flying and you have to start paying attention to what's going on because we have to stay informed information is key in a prepper's world to surviving the reason you prep is to survive you don't prep to like hand it out to everybody around you you know what i'm saying i mean it is up to you to make your own decisions on who you are willing to help if you want to help your neighbor out um whoever that is ultimately your decision based on what you have in your preps, based on what you have done, based on how long you can provide for you and your family. Just saying. 
at that point, if you feel you have an adequate supply that's going to get you through whatever situation this may be, and you want to reach out and you want to try helping somebody, by all means, do it. I'm not going to sit here and tell you not to do it. There are channels out there to say, well, you, you can't share anything. You can't do this. You can't do that and everything else. That is your decision, not mine. I don't. I don't run you. I don't own you. I'm not going to sit here and tell you, you have to do this. No, that's your decision. That's why we live in this country. If you feel the need to help out a neighbor or whatever else, or to take them in, because if you look at it, depending on the situation, if you do take some of these people in, and you're helping them, you're providing them, say, food and medical supply, whatever it could be, well, then maybe you just started building a small little community while all this is taking place. And there's a thing to say for a group with numbers compared to somebody with none. It kind of takes the target off your back. But like I said, that is ultimately your own decision on what you do with what you have prepped and what you have been doing. The thing of it is, is we have to really look at everything in a whole. We have to dot our I's, cross our T's, and we have to really try to Prepare for the worst and hope for the best.